Hi, my name is Phil Anderson and I'm running for the United States Senate to represent Wisconsin. First of all, today I'd like to congratulate my daughter, Sasha, who went through the graduation ceremony at Verona Area High School today. Actually, it was held at Epic Systems and uh, we're very proud of her that she graduated high school. It's certainly a big achievement in her life, a milestone. Uh, she's attending UW-Madison next year and we think she'll do really well. She's a wonderful young woman. Some of you out there have met her and I hope you'll agree with me. A very talented, intelligent uh, young lady, and I think she'll do very, very well. I'd like to take this moment to also make a brief comment on public education. I don't talk a lot about that uh, in the campaign too much, nor on these videos, but as public schools go, insofar as they are good, the Verona public school system, the Verona area uh, school district, is a good one. She had good teachers for the most part. Um, she excelled there in certain ways, but I will say, even, even with that, that certainly public schools need some competition and need some adjustment. They're basically a one one size fits all cookie cutter kind of approach. Uh, certainly, uh, kids can go uh, faster at more accelerated pace in certain subjects in certain areas. There's problems of discipline that should ideally be handled at home and don't always get effectively handled at the school level because there are differing ideas of um, you know what should be done in certain situations, different social ideas, different different social paradigms different politics that go on in the school district as opposed to that go on in people's homes. I understand how that has to happen sometimes because uh, some kids don't have parents that are engaged enough to take care of certain things before they get to school. But um, for the most part, education needs competition. And that's not to say that public schools don't do a good job, but people should be allowed to have different choices with their taxpayer money and should be allowed to opt out and not still fully fund other people's education. I understand that there's societal and economic value in that, but there's other ways to do that. And I believe that the more competition there is, the more innovative people become, um, and the more uh, the better education that our students get, not just as a whole, uh, but as individuals with different learning styles, different genders, different um, skills, different uh, levels of maturity while still being in the same age group. All of these things generally aren't addressed very well in public schools. Um, so I think that that's one big reason why we need to have more diversity in education uh, in terms of having more private school options with our taxpayer money. I think it's only fair and it's only reasonable to allow that to happen, while still somehow, either through the private sector or some very modest, uh, voluntary, uh, publicly arranged system, providing for some level, level of education for kids who can't otherwise afford it or participate in it. Um, I'm not the kind of person that says we need to abolish all public education right away. I don't think that's reasonable. Uh, it, we certainly don't want to adopt any sort of libertarian politics that immediately throw people uh, completely out of their lifestyle or out of their economic situation right away. That's actually a big tension in any, in any governing situation uh, for any party that has a philosophy, libertarians for example, where, where there are people who believe that things should change right away and be, be as completely libertarian as possible, uh, while others who tend more towards the practical side of things I'm more towards the practical side of things. Well, uh, as your senator, I will certainly try to do things like end the, the Federal Department of Education, end wars and bring our troops home, uh, abolish the IRS, abolish the Fed. It's not reasonable for me to say uh, that that needs to happen right away because those in institutions, as flawed as they are, are part of our economy, part of our society. So we need to work towards that, work hard, work fast, but understand that just pulling the plug on things isn't always the best thing for people in the short run, nor is it necessarily the best thing for the goals we're trying to achieve in the long run, because if people get turned off because things radically change uh, you know, really quickly, then they'll be scared and, and they'll never come back to the idea of liberty and libertarianism again, because it will have seemed too radical and too chaotic. And that's not what we want. Ours isn't a, an ide ideology and a philosophy of chaos. It's peace and prosperity and privacy. And we'll work towards that as, fa as quickly and as effectively as we can. And uh, the targets of those ideas, of course, include the public schools. So thanks very much. I think you all know what I'm about uh, as, a can as a candidate, as a libertarian, and what I will do and fight for as your senator. But if you don't and you have questions, you can always email me, phil at 4 uh, You can find me on Twitter, at 4, the number 4, Phil Anderson. On Facebook, Anderson for U.S. Senate, uh, facebook.com slash Anderson for U.S. Senate. Uh, you can call me at 608-345-3916. I'm happily eager to answer questions about my, uh, my goals and my philosophies and my, my platform. 
uh, in running uh, for this race for the United States Senate. So thanks, and stay tuned, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Good night.